Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about diabetes insipidus. It is the passage of large volumes, more than 3 litres a day, of dilute urine because of impaired water resorption at the kidneys, either because of reduced antidiotic hormone ADH secretion, also known as vasopressin, from the pituitary gland, or because of an impaired response of the kidneys to ADH. Let me first explain the normal physiology. Normally at the hypothalamus, ADH is made, which then moves to the posterior pituitary gland along its zonal pathways, where it is then secreted according to the plasma osmolality. One of the main actions of ADH, when secreted, is to act at the collecting tubules of the kidneys to cause water reabsorption. So normally, at low osmolality, less ADH is secreted by the posterior pituitary gland, and so there is more diuresis the person passes more urine. If there is higher osmolality, more ADH is secreted, and so there is less diuresis, the person passes less urine. Diabetes insipidus can either be cranial diabetes insipidus, whereby there is impaired secretion of the ADH, or it is nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, whereby there is renal resistance to the action of ADH. So, ADH causes reabsorption of water to the kidneys so that you pass less urine. In diabetes insipidus, either there's a problem with its production, so cranial diabetes insipidus, or it's not working at the kidneys, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. And there's a large volume of urine production. And so in the signs and symptoms, there's polyurea. Because of, because of the polyurea, there's compensatory polydipsia. Of note, this is different from primary polydipsia, which is a psychiatric disturbance where there is excessive intake of water. The patient with diabetes insipidus will be dehydrated. In cranial diabetes insipidus, there is a problem with the hypothalamus. So the causes include neurosurgery, trauma, tumours. It can be because of infiltrative disease, such as sarcoidosis and it can be idiopathic. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus can be because of the following causes listed. Hypokalemia, hypercalcemia, drugs, renal tubular acidosis, sickle cell disease, can be familial, or because of prolonged polyuria. So in summary, in diabetes insipidus, either ADH is not being secreted, or it is not working causing large amounts of urine to be passed by the patients. I hope this has been useful. Thank you.